Hey, this is your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, and I want to congratulate Coach Maldonado and wrestlers Sean Streck and Jay Kovach for bringing home back-to-back -back Indiana State Wrestling Championships. Everyone at Merrillville High School is proud of you, and so is your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. The wrestling team took three outstanding wrestlers to state this past weekend and came home with two back-to-back -back state champions. Uh, you know, going into the match, I really wanted to be offensive and score as many points as I can and just compete. But uh, he was really being a stalemate kind of guy and just being real strong and steady. So he was being smart, which, I mean, you're going to get that when you come here. So I just got on my offense, got a good takedown, got a good escape, and just won the match on being smart. You know what, Jake wrestled well this weekend. I mean, last year he won a state title and didn't have the best performance. Um, you know, we we put our, we got taken down a few times here or there. We had a rough tournament last year. We fought our way through it and won a state title. Uh, this year he just kind of just was so focused and so ready. Uh, again, in, in the finals match, uh, they had a pretty good strategy uh, as far as wrestling us, uh, playing the edge of the mat. Uh, anytime the kid would get in any kind of trouble, he kind of circle out of bounds. Uh, so he, he wrestled us very strategically. Uh, I think that was his only opportunity really to, to score on us. So uh, he, he really kept his composure, score when he could, uh, protected himself uh, as far as takedowns and things like that. So overall, he just uh, he wrestled very, a very intelligent uh, tournament. With champions come challenges, and that is exactly what Jake endured during the season. Yeah, it's a crazy story. I was riding at a skate park, and uh, I came over a jump, and I put my foot out, and I just snapped my ankle. And uh, I was at first, I was just shocked. I didn't know what to do, so I just, I like walked it off a little bit, got in my car, and went straight home. Got into the, got into home, put it in a bucket of ice, and my parents, I called them. My dad was super mad. I was, I was just. It was a bad day and you know we got down to the doctors the next day found out I really broke it pretty bad and uh, separated my tibia and fibia so I tore a tendon all the way down from my shin to my ankle. Uh, so I had to have full reconstructive surgery right before season and that, that definitely, it was kind of, it burned a little bit but um, I didn't want it to consume me and Maldonado kept striving on that. My parents, he got my parents into it too that we still have a game plan and we're going to execute it. So. I got back, I got released a month early than expected and just been working hard ever since. Along with the state championship title, Jake Kovach also returned home with the Mental Attitude Scholarship. I think he's well deserved of it. I mean, he, he academically he does what he's supposed to do. Uh, you know, he, he's involved in, in the community. He he does community service. He, he's involved in a, in a bunch of different activities. He's involved in National Honor Society. I mean, he, he does so much. Uh, and on top of the stress and the strain and the everyday grind of, of wrestling, I think, uh, you know, shows a lot. I think he was well deserving of it. Um, we thought he had a pretty good chance of getting it. And uh, at, you know, when they, when they made the announcement, I think it was, uh, like I said, it was, it was a great honor for not only him, but for the coaching staff, the community, and the schools. It's pretty special, especially being a first ever Mavis, first ever two-time state champ behind Jacob Kovac, so. Special. You know what? He, he 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 did everything he was supposed to do. You know, I know he wasn't completely happy with his performance in the finals, but uh, the kid wrestled a good strategy. Uh, you know, it's kind of kept away from us. Uh, didn't really let us put our hands on him. Uh, looked for some throws here and there, uh, and it gets tough. It gets tough to wrestle a kid where uh, you know he's kind of like living and dying by the sword. So, um, you know, overall. Uh, he had a great tournament, he had a great tournament, just, you know, didn't finish like he would like to, but um, at the end of the day, you, you win a state title, you got to be happy about that. There's about, you know, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of kids uh, that left tonight without medals that would trade uh, that, you know, that medal for, for anything in the world. So. The boys know that with hard work, there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition.
definitely uh, yesterday's Friday night match. Uh, that was a huge match. Uh, the kid I wrestled, I knew him before from uh, Team Indiana, and I had uh, much respect for him. And I, we knew each other, so it was kind of hard wrestling a friend. But I knew that uh, you know, it was going to be a close match going in. Uh, you know, it's always a great experience for to get those guys down here so they can get that feeling that what it is to be down here on the floor and, and experience it. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of, a lot of emotion, a lot of... You know, a lot of things going through a kid's head, so it's always great for them to get down here. Mikey came down here last year, and uh, you know, I think it helped him this year when he uh, to place to put him in the semifinals match. You know, finishing fourth in the state uh, is a pretty pretty big accomplishment for him. So, and with Brandon, you know, getting down here and um, competing and stuff, it it, it look uh, gives him a good opportunity for for next season. Just always go the extra mile, always looking for the extra workouts, and good things happen to you. Good things work happen. Good thing happens to people who work hard. I love I love when kids look up to me. It's a big thing that I strive for, and just being a good role model. And uh, really, if any athlete, man, I just I want to tell you just to always follow your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something, and just never quit. If you get put with face some adversity, just never quit. Look at it as just a minor obstacle, not a deficit. Just it's a little bump in the road. That's how you do it. Congratulations to Mikey De La Pena, Sean Strike, and Jacob Kovacs for their astounding achievements at State this past weekend. Signing off from PNN, I'm Neil Wells.